So a lot of people are wondering what to do with Spider-Man, how to actually play him, his combos, his cancels, the settings. I'm going to cover all of that here today. I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can, but also thorough at the same time. So first things first, the number one thing you want to do is go here into Spider-Man settings. Click all heroes, click Spider-Man, go to confirm. So hold to swing. You can have that on or off. There's a couple lenient things you can do essentially with combos, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's not going to make a difference. So hold to swing is your preference. I prefer to have it off because I just want to click it and fly away. I don't want to hold it the whole time. Automatic swing. Make sure this is off. This is the worst setting. I can't even believe they have this enabled. When you have it enabled, you get those swings where you just grab random stuff above you. Like, you literally can't even do a ground swing animation uh, with this turned on. So, turn this off no matter what. It is the worst. Here's what happens when it's off. You can actually, like, look where you want to swing and pull yourself to there. You get a whole new animation where you can just dive out of cover or whatever. You look where you want to go. You dive to the ground. Like, it's so much better. So much more control. Make sure you have that off. Hold uh, hold the wall crawl and hold to run on walls. I have both of these enabled. So if you play Genji and Overwatch, you have to you know hold to grab the wall usually. So I'm just holding space and it's just gonna grab it for me. And uh, yeah, it's just it just feels more like Genji. And also if I'm holding left click, it's gonna automatically run. So anytime I get on a wall, I'm just like I'm holding space and left click at the same time, and it's just already making me instantaneously start to wall run like that. I don't know why I couldn't grab that ledge there, but. Um, so, but these are preference, obviously I say hold, but you know, whichever ones you want direction of wall crawling. So this means if you do torch crosshair, I really don't like this. Um, basically only where you're looking with your crosshair is where you, where you go. Like I'm holding, I'm pressing WASD right now. And it's like not moving my guy at all. You have to hold W and look with your crosshair where you actually want to go. It's pretty bad in my opinion. But if you have uh, advanced vertically upwards, that means, you know, W is always up, um, A is always left, S is always down, and D is always to the right. I'll go ahead and do it here. See, I'm holding space, and I'm doing WASD. I can go wherever I want. Same with the run. I prefer to have this that way, but it's up to you. Display attack range, you can leave that on. But the main thing is, I would do hold, but automatic swing off no matter what. So... All right, so now that I've showed you guys that, I'm gonna show you exactly how to play Spider-Man here, the combos, what cancels, why you need to cancel, and just all the above. I'll try to go quick with it. So his left click is a three hit combo. Does okay damage. If you double jump and do the left click, it will do like this head slam move. Um, it does a little bit more damage, so I'll go ahead and show you guys here. By the way, this screen shake stuff that he does, that Spidey senses tingling, I have the cooldowns off, so it's going to do it constantly, so bear with me there. So if we look here, this is pretty bad DPS on this guy. As you can see, the double jump hit is does a little bit more, does a decent amount, a little bit more than normal, but... So what we need is to speed up the DPS on these hits. So the first thing we can do is cancel our left clicks with right clicks. So I'll show you the DPS here. Obviously that's way faster than what we just did. I even missed it there and it's still way faster. So that's the first thing you need to know that you can cancel out of Spider-Man, his basic attacks into right clicks which is very important like this will help you burst combo later when i'm going to show you guys so reiterating on the combo i just showed you guys his right click shoots out webs you only get like five of them before they have to recharge so you can weave these in for dps but what these also do is whenever you hit a target with it now all of a sudden our E ability works differently so the E normally you can pull them to you like a roadhog it does a little pretty decent chunk of damage it's not bad if you could catch somebody pull them into your team that's fine but the way we really want to use this is we want to catch them with a right click and then e that will allow us to go near them and we get in their face and we kick them up in the air and they're kind of like 
they're not like hard stunned but it's a little bit of crowd control when we're kicking them up in the air so so why is this very important well this is a core part of getting in the rushdown with spider-man and doing our combo so the next thing that i want you guys to know is web swing cancels this is huge part of the kit so as you know you can web swing at any time and two things you can cancel out of the web swing you can cancel right clicks and you can cancel this uppercut move so that's his third main ability is the uppercut the spidey senses are going crazy i'll show you guys here why the punches don't cancel out of grapple so we'll go ahead and grapple and you go through this roll animation before you can punch i'm just holding the button uh do it in the air too you go through this entire animation before you can even start punching see it takes forever but right clicks don't do that so we can go web swing and the right click you can cancel it at any time this is huge I'm trying to time it where it's barely moving so you guys can actually see it canceling so also the uppercut cancels out of web swinging so i'll go ahead and show that here you can do the uppercut it's a huge hitbox, as you can see. You can also do it in the air. So we use swing and uppercut. It also cancels. We can swing and a right click. With that, you can imagine how much burst can actually come out of Spider-Man when we combo these two cancels or even one at all. So I'm gonna show you why this is important that we, we cancel the web swing with the uppercut. So say a flying character like Iron Man. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him I'm going to try to fly to him with the E and do like the little kick. And then I'm just going to hold uppercut and you'll notice I can't even hit him unless I cancel it. So hit him. Now the E and I'm holding uppercut. Can't even hit him. Not even close. I'd have to probably do something like double jump and then do it. And that's cool and all if you want to do it like that, but it's really late and delayed. There's a better way we can do that because we want burst damage. Anybody that's familiar with Genji from Overwatch, when you get in, you want to burst people down insanely quick. So what we'll do to Iron Man is we'll do the grapple into uppercut cancel. I'm going to hit right click. I'm going to go to him. I'm going to hit web swing into the uppercut and you'll watch how fast I can uppercut him afterward when I cancel. And that's an instantaneous uppercut. And our combo, which I'll show you in just a sec, you can kill Iron Man insanely quick with just a couple of follow-ups right after that. So I'll show you guys the Iron Man combo cancel here. And see, that's... You can just kill people out of the air like that. You could probably kill Storm out of the air like that too. I'll try to do it one more time. I'll do it with just right clicks instead of doing the big smash at the end, so. Same thing, same concept. It just allows you to burst them out of the air much quicker using this combo. Next, I'll show you how you can do it to people on the ground. It's basically the same exact thing. You just weave a punch in there instead. And these guys here on the ground. It's a lot of burst. That's like really good burst. There it is again. He just outright died. And see, since you can cancel the right click, you don't have to go web swing into uppercut. You can go web swing into right click with the cancel. So you could do something like this. And then now he's a sliver. Now oh, you just need one more follow up. So I'll go ahead and do it again. You could do two right clicks into the uppercut and the uppercut will finish him instead. So. Never mind, I did I did the other way. That's okay. I'll do it here again. Yeah, there it is. So all I'm doing is just I am web swing canceling with the uppercut or the right click. If I had to say what the perfect combo was, it would be right click into E into web swing uppercut into just punch and then a right click again. Just make sure you hit the kick with the E. That's why he still has health here. So make sure you hit this kick. That little kick right there, you have to hit that. Don't do it too quickly or you won't be able to full combo. So 
So like I said, if you do miss the E kick and cancel too early, he will be a sliver like I just showed. But mainly the other reason why is you have to do it so fast is whenever something is tagged with the spider tracer, which is this right click web, your primaries do more damage, your primary attack and your uppercut also does more damage as you can see there. See, in theory, if we had no cooldowns, you could just infinitely, you could infinitely melee. I'm just doing the web cancel with the uppercut. It looks kind of ridiculous, so. Hopefully you guys understand the concept why we're canceling this into the uppercut with the web swings and also with the right clicks and also with the punch and the right click and that's the burst that's how you're gonna play spider-man you're gonna swing around like try to look for a way to get in that's perfect spider-man right there and then once you got that kill just go ahead and get out and retreat with them so hopefully this guide helped you guys understood the combos a little bit the main two things you need to learn how to do is web swing cancel the uppercut and web swing cancel with the right click and it kicked me out of the game so that's it that's the video if you enjoyed it like sub i probably have more marvel rival stuff going on i really like this game spider-man's really fun to me I was killing it with the Punisher too. I'll throw up a little gameplay of him. I went like 30 and five in a match with him. He's kind of broken. And yeah, so like, sub, do your thing. If not, it's all good too. Y'all have a good day.